What was the camera's name? I forget. It was, uh, Leonard oh. Hitchcock. Yeah. Um, we got a new camera in the show today called Leonard Hitchcock. I named it, not Brian's, whatever you think. And, um, yeah, so. I don't know if this camera will work so good, so we'll find out. Um, Ricky wrote a new poem, but before we re uh, read the poem, I want to read you a Christmas story I wrote. Okay, so you can read a Christmas story? Actually, you agreed to it about ten seconds before we uh, hit record. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? Oh, I'm, I'm 175% sure. Alright. This is called My Christmas Adventure. The year? No. <laughs> the... The date, D cup. The candy, ramen noodles. The holiday, Christmas. It was a quiet evening. I was treating myself to some old French fries and garlic bread while watching Titanic and listening to ZZ Topless. <laughs> Suddenly I heard it. That jingle. That goddamn jingle. Give me a break, give me a break, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. They had my girlfriend hostage. I set out to the majestic nation of Japanada, the house of the rising maple sun. I finally reached the state of no Nova Scotokyo. They had my girlfriend tied up on a strangely terrifying Godzilla-looking mountie. I had my reindeer initiate launch sequence. Rudolph's penis started glowing red. The happy nukes were coming. There was one thing. I forgot about my girlfriend. She perished. I screamed, No! Guess who doesn't have to pay child support anymore? <laughs> the end. <laughs> I don't get it. Did you enjoy my story? I like the ending the best. <laughs> okay. Would you like to keep the story then? No. Good. Okay. You should sell that on eBay. <laughs> or I could just throw it out. I don't have a computer. Or I could just throw it out. Okay, so I wrote another uh, poem. Last year I wrote a poem called The Hannibal Lecter Christmas Poem. It was night before did. Christmas, and all through the house, and that a creature was stirring for I just ate my spouse. Nothing but a little uh, uh, remnants in there. Shut up. So I made it. This was made at like 2 in the morning when I thought weed and tree rhymed. And uh, so I wrote, Oh, Christmas weed. And here's how it goes. This is my first poem, by the way. Well, I wrote it, so... I mean, like, well, my first appearance in a poem, but... Yeah. Christmas comes but once a year. It is a holiday that I hold dear. A <clears throat> present, some warm wishes, and family I need. But most of all, a nice spot of weed. Oh, oh Christmas, Christmas weed, oh, Christmas weed. I heart you as I smoke and stride. stride. You truly, truly bring, bring the mystery, mystery to life. life. Because, because... I mean, I, I have no tolerance. Seriously. It takes nothing. Like, I woke up this one morning in a scrapyard naked with my underwear on my head, and this is man is tattooed on my torso. I, I, someone also spilled like hot coffee on me, but it didn't hurt. I don't know how I got there. I must have had a good Christmas, although I had to go to the hospital for burn wounds. Yeah. Were you in the hospital? Did you have to pick up like any prescription marijuana? Because my dog is growing really impatient. I was not in Arizona, New Jersey, or California. Those Maybe you should states. move there then. Start thinking about my dog for once, huh? Well, you know what, Dick. You know, you know how I catch you about the cigarette tax? I did. Right, Pudgy. Like, how much now, Pudgy? How much have you paid recently? Ten oh, you don't pay me. Ten bucks in Queens. Yo, Pudgy's not in Queens. But Seven sixty-five here, I think. Seven sixty-five, sixty-five. Okay. Another two sixty-five cents, you know. Yeah. Oh, Christmas weed. Oh, Christmas weed. Oh, Christmas weed. How I love the smoke weed. The police may come, come and say they, they found a lead, lead, but I, I just say they're gay. gay. Oh, Christmas weed. Oh, Christmas weed. I'm going to prison now. But please do not cry. Please do not fear. I'll be out on probation by Christmas next year. Happy New Year, Christmas. This is one thing that bothers me about this. What's that? You can't go to jail for weed. In my words, you can. Well, your world is fantasy. It is pure fiction. It is not true. <laughs> I think right, I'm, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you, like, are you like stepping my beliefs right now? Oh, I'm not stepping on your beliefs. I am completely You're... shooting them up. <laughs> That's so cute. You live in reality, don't you? I do live in reality. Well, you know what I live in? What? A little corner of, 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 of a reality called insanity, okay? And you know what happens to insanity? What? Anything, okay? Anything, huh? Yes. Somebody could just like... Take a stick of dynamite, put it up your ass, and light it, and it'll explode, and you'll turn into a freaking flower, right? No. Because you know what I would do? I'd rip it out and shove it down their eyeball. And I'd take their eyeball and put it on my butt. Either way, it's still connected to your butt, and you'd blow up anyway, because anything I can happen, right? Anything. I'm right, right? Anything can happen. I take the eyeball, right? I take the eyeball, like this, 
Like that. I pull it out, stick it in my butt, have a colonoscopy. You know what? I don't have to listen to this anymore. I'm right. Merry Christmas to you too. I'm right. You're wrong. Get in. You know what? It's November. Get out of my house. Here's the door. Come on. Dance. What are you waiting for? I'm right. I'm right. Get out of my house.